Hi there, it's Miss Tiffany from the Butler Area Public Library, and I'm here with another book talk. This book is the May selection for the Ideal, that's I-D-E-A-L, Tween and Teen Book Club. Ideal stands for Inclusivity, Diversity, Equity, and Accessibility in Libraries. We have ideal book clubs for kids, tweens and teens, and adults. Each month, the ideal book clubs make a selection of a book dealing with various topics of diversity. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So the book that we selected was Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. Here is the summary. 13-year-old Min comes from a long line of fox spirits, but you'd never know it by looking at her. To keep the family safe, Min's mother insists that none of them use any fox magic, such as charm or shape-shifting. They must appear human at all times. Min feels hemmed in by the household rules and resents the endless chores, the cousins who crowd her, and the aunties who judge her. She would like nothing more than to escape Jinju, her neglected, dust-ridden, and impoverished planet. She's counting the days until she can follow her older brother, Jun, into the space forces and see more of the Thousand Worlds. When word arrives that Jun is suspected of leaving his post to go in search of the Dragon Pearl, Min knows that something is wrong. Jun would never desert his battlecruiser, even for a mystical object rumored to have tremendous power. She decides to run away to find him and clear his name. Min's quest will have her meeting gamblers, pirates, and vengeful ghosts. It will involve deception, lies, and sabotage. She will be forced to use more fox magic than ever before and to rely on all of her cleverness and bravery. The outcome may not be what she had hoped, but it has the potential to exceed her wildest dreams. First of all, I would like to admit that I'm not much of a science fiction reader. So I really wasn't sure what to expect when I read this book, but I was pleasantly surprised. The book is a very specific kind of science fiction, which is called a space fantasy. It reminded me a lot of Star Wars in that aspect, except it also weaves in Korean mythology and culture throughout the space fantasy story. Basically, this is the equivalent of what Afrofuturism would be to black characters. This would be the equivalent to Asian characters. So I guess Asian futurism in that Asian culture and philosophy and mythology are in the center of this science fiction universe. I really liked this book a lot more than I expected to. This was really good. It played out like a movie in my head as I read it, which is a really high compliment in terms of reading for me because it's not always a book is so vivid as I read it. If you are interested in reading this book, it is available for checkout on Hoopla. If you have read this book and you would like to read others like it, I highly recommend Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar. Mirage by Samaya Dowd, Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Beleza, and Ignite the Stars by Mara Milan. All of those books are available from various libraries in the BCFLS system, so if you would like to place a hold on any of them, let us know and we can help you do that. If you would like to learn more about the Ideal Book Club for either kids, tweens and teens, or adults, please visit butlerlibrary.info or you can register for the challenge in Beanstack by visiting butlerlibrary.beanstack.org. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy some of these recommendations.